mercy endureth forever. So we just want to welcome each and every one of you here today and just give God the praise and the glory for what he has done because he is so good. We welcome you and we pray that you come back and visit with us soon. God bless you. want to praise him today. We just want to praise him today and give him the honor and the glory. It all belongs to him.
is in honor of Brother Alvin. Just want to praise him for what the Lord is doing for him. Yes, right now. His healing is being performed. Yes. And I'm so grateful because it was touch and go there for a minute. Yes. But I'm so glad that the Lord always stepped in. Thank you. Right on time with every healing that needs to be performed. Yes. So I'm just going to sing this one more again. I just want to praise you. I just want to praise you forever. How many got a praise down on the inside? Hallelujah. I, I think that's our theme for this year, to raise the praise. And I just want to praise him for all that he's done for me. Giving honor to my risen Savior, the incomparable Lord Jesus Christ, to my pastor, Pastor Apostle Barry, to Lady Barry, to the elders, ministers, evangelists, deacons, missionaries, this awesome praise team, to our musicians, we thank God for you. I know you miss Alvis, and so do we, but I know God is doing a, a miracle in his life, doing a miraculous thing in his life, so we just praise God for where he's brought him and where he's going to take him. We just thank God for him. He's missed, but we know he's going to be back soon. I uh, thank God for my daughter being with me uh, this morning. Alexa, we thank God for you. She had a birthday on Monday, and her brother had a birthday on yesterday. So they're making me old. But that's all right. We thank God again for each and every one of you. To our ushers, we thank God for you. To our media department, we thank God for you. And for whatever capacity that you serve in the house, we thank God for each and every one of you because you are very important to the body of Christ. Whatever you do for Christ is going to last. And we thank God for you. Turn with me, if you will, to the 43rd chapter of Isaiah. 43rd chapter of Isaiah. We're going to be reading verses 1 and 2. And then we're going to be reading verse 19 through 21 of that same chapter. And it reads, but now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. 
I have called thee by thy name, and thou art mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thy walk is through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Verses 19 through 20. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I would even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beasts of the field shall honor me, the dragons and owls, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. Thought I would like to leave with you. A new year and a new praise. A new year and a new praise. Let us look to the Lord, gracious God, our Father, in the name of Jesus. Our risen Savior, our King, and our God. What a privilege. What an honor it is to be in the house of the Lord one more time. And I count it a privilege to stand behind this sacred desk and say, thus saith the Lord. I thank you, O God, for waking me up this morning in my right mind. I thank you for these thy people that are gathered in your name. Lord, you said, where two or more that are gathered in your name, there you are in the midst. And we know, Lord, when you're in our midst, things can't stay the same. We know it's going to change because you're in our midst. And we thank you for your presence here this morning. We bow before our king and we lift our hands up in praise and adoration because you're worthy of all honor, all glory, and all praise. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your mercy, your grace. You brought us through another year Hasn't been easy all the time, but you were there every step of the way. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our children and our grandchildren. Thank you for our extended families, for our church families, for the churches of our Lord, for the body of Christ, for our overseers. Lord, we give you praise. Most of all, we thank you for the blood that has never lost its power. We thank you for the blessed word of God and for the power in the Holy Ghost. Lord, we pray your will be done, not my will, but let your will be done. I pray I decrease as you increase because you're the great God of glory and we acknowledge your sovereignty today. We bless you, we praise you, and we magnify your holy In your righteous name, remember those that are sick among us in the hospitals, the nursing homes, those that are convalescent. Special prayer for the bereaved family. Special prayer, oh God, for our brother Alvis and for all those names that were called out on yesterday on the Hope Line and the previous Saturdays. You know what we stand in need of. And we know, Lord, that you're able to meet every need according to your riches and glory. In that matchless name, Lord Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Amen. I thank God for all all of you that are joining us on on the Facebook, whatever media circuit that you're joining us with, we just thank God for you. I thank God for my family, uh, Marion in West Virginia, that she's always supportive uh, for the Borden family. Uh, for the Edmonds family, for Bonnie, for always praying for us. We thank God for all of you, each and every one of you. You're very precious in the sight of the Almighty God. I thank God again for my son. I know he's 
watching because he always tell me, slow down, you're getting old. He don't have to tell me that I already know. But thanks be to God who has given us the victory in Jesus Christ. A new year, a new praise. Our theme this year is to raise the praise. In today's text, we will see how, how Isaiah's message had a profound impact on the people who had gone into exile in the latter days of that century. He was preaching to a discouraged people whose lives had been turned upside down, whose lives had been rearranged, whose lives were now controlled and dominated. Being held captive is a terrible thing, both physically and spiritually. And they, like most of us, they needed to hear a word from the Lord. If we would take an assessment of this past year, 2023, we would be inundated with crisis after crisis, natural and man-made. We've had extreme weather events, earthquakes that brought destruction and displacement, wildfires and, and floods have devastated the landscape and many have lost their lives. The war with Israel and Hamas, where the death and destruction is happening even as we speak. And much prayer is needed because we don't know how that's going to spread. Here in the United States in 2023, there were over 600 mass shootings. More than days that's in a year. The sad commentary is that the lawmakers refuse to do anything about passing common sense gun laws. That's a sad commentary. Yes, Praise the Lord. Why does anyone need a weapon of war yes. in their house? Oh. Much prayer oh. is needed. Whenever we read articles in newspaper or watch the newscasts, we are reminded that this is a dangerous world yes. that we live in. We are reminded that there is no safe place. Humanly speaking, the only safe place is in the center of the will of God. Amen. This past year, 2023, it has been difficult for many of us because of the loved ones that passed on. And even members of our church that have made their transition. And now we're here standing in a brand new year, 2024. And Lord knows we need to hear some good news. We need to hear something that's uplifting. Praise the Lord. Something that is encouraging, something that would help us and, and bless us to navigate this coming year. So I come to let you know today that the best place that you can be in is right where you are, in the house of the Lord and in the center of his will. Hallelujah. Can I get a witness today? Hallelujah. God's word is timeless. Hallelujah. If you want to hear some good news, it's in the word of God. 
His word is timeless. His word is eternal. His word is living. His word is life. It chases away our fears and it brings faith to us. Everything that we'll ever need, it's in the word of God. This text speaks of God's promises to his people. He said, behold, I'm going to do something new in your life. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I would even make a way in the wilderness and, and, and rivers in the desert. Verse 21 says, this people, this people have I formed for myself. They shall what? Show forth my praise. So for my praise, God used this great eagle eye prophet by the name of Isaiah to make known his promises to his people. I'm reminded also how Isaiah's deep reverence for God described in chapter 6 after his friend Uzziah had died. How can we forget that awesome moment when he saw the Lord sitting up on a throne high and lifted up and how his train filled the temple and the seraphims cried one to another, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. If somebody would just know when they come in the house of God and just reach out and see the glory of God, all in the sanctuary. We wouldn't have to be prompt to praise him. Hallelujah. If we just get a glimpse, if we just get a touch from the glory of God, hallelujah to his name. God knows what we need and he knows when we need it. He sent a messenger to preach to a discouraged and a weary people who needed to hear a word from the Lord. He reminded them that God was going to keep his promises. Hallelujah to his name. And he was going to do what he said that he was going to do because he's God and he cannot lie. That he was going to bring the captives back to Jerusalem and restore their land. It was hard for them to believe, uh, Elder, because of the situation that they found themselves in. Amen. Sometimes it's hard yes. to look past your situations Amen. and your circumstance. And sometimes it's easier said than done. Praise the Lord. That wonderful dream of being a nation for God with the call of Abraham. The coming out of Egypt, the crossing of the Red Sea, the wilderness journey, and the promised land were all memories of the past. All they could see was crushed dreams and despair. Have anybody ever been there? Some of you may be there right now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Where it seems that you're in a hopeless situation. But God had a message for his people then. And he has a message for us today. Hallelujah. He said, go tell him. Go tell my people I'm going to do something new for them. Praise the Lord. Why? Because you are my chosen people. And I have a place and I have a plan for your life. And I want you to know this morning, saints of God, no matter what obstacles you're facing this morning, no matter what trials and tribulations, no matter what challenges you have in your life, God is going to keep his promise to you. You can, you can, you can bank on that. You can believe that. God is going to keep his promises. But we have to learn to walk by faith not by sight last night I was so sick I couldn't hardly stand up sick as a dog I was saying Lord how am I going to be here this morning 
I even called Elder France. I said, Elder France, you might have to be a backup. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it in the morning. But I'm trusting God before the end of this night. I'm going to be okay. When I got up this morning, how to do here, touch my body. You have to learn to walk by faith. Not by what you see. Hallelujah. Will we believe God? Or will we believe what we see? Will we believe our conditions and our circumstance? Or will we stand on God's word, Sister Hope? They had a decision to make and so do we. God wants to do a new thing in our lives. He wants to take us to higher heights and to deeper depths in him. He wants us to recognize and realize that we're the head and not the tail. We're above and not beneath. Praise the Lord. God is constantly moving forward and he wants to take you forward. But it's us. We get stuck. We get stuck in the wilderness going around that same old mountain over and over again because we don't want to trust in God. We don't want to do what he called us to do. Sometimes we get a little complacent. Praise the Lord. And we, we lose our vision. Praise the Lord. But this is 2024. And there's a few things we need to understand. Number one, we were created by design. Our existence is not by accident. Praise the Lord. He said, I am your creator. I'm the one who formed you. God has a plan. The psalmist said that even before you were born, that God had already recorded the days of your life. What a mighty God we serve. He had already recorded the days of your life. Hallelujah. When we understand that God has a purpose and he has a plan, we can face the uncertainties of life. Many uncertainties of life. But if we trust God's plan for our life, we'll be able to navigate through it. We won't be deterred or lose focus no matter what's going on around us. The Bible says in Romans 8 and 28 that all things, all things, all things work together for the good to those that love God and are called according to his purpose. All things, the good, the bad, the ugly, all things. I know I got some dark days ahead, but all things, I'm, it's going to work out for my good. I, I, I might have some distractors, I might have some backbiters, some lying, lying on my job, but I know eventually it's going to work out for my good. Hallelujah to his name. God is not intimidated by tragedies because he's in control. And understanding as we enter into this new year that God has a plan, it will open up the new things in our life. Number two, we we were created to know God. He says, I have redeemed you. Mm, that just stirs up something on the inside. He said, I have redeemed you. I've been redeemed. Bought with the price. The precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, I've been redeemed. I got a, I got a song now, Pastor, that the, that the angels can't even sing. I've been washed. I said, I've been washed. I've been washed in the blood. I've been redeemed. And he goes on to say, I have called you by your name. Woo, God knows your name. I I know sometimes people call you everything but a child of God. And I said, that's all right. 
You can call me whatever you want to call me, but God, he knows my real name. God knows my name. And he said, you are mine. I redeem you. I call you by name and you are mine. What a wonderful thing that is. But to those who don't know him, there's always going to be a void. Hallelujah. And an emptiness in your life until you know God. And there's a difference between knowing God and knowing about God. Most people have some kind of concept of who God is, but without relationship. And you know those when they say that, oh, I know it's somebody up there. I know it's a man upstairs, a woman upstairs, somebody up there, some supreme being. But, but, but we were created for intimacy with God. Bible says in Genesis that God had a love affair with his creation. He loved Adam and Eve. And he said he met them in the cool of the day. He walked in the cool of the day and they conversed. He loved his creation just like he loves you. It's an intimate thing. And if you know God, hallelujah. He's more than just a man upstairs. Hallelujah. If you know him, he's more than just that supreme being. If you know him, he's more than a figment of your imagination. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but he's my joy in sorrow. He's my hope for tomorrow. He, he, he's, he's water when I'm thirsty. Good God Almighty. He, he, he's my bread when I'm hungry. Oh, yes, he is. He's everything that I ever need. Hallelujah. He's the very air I breathe, Sister Katrina. He's the song I sing. Hallelujah, Sister Tiffany. Hallelujah, the songwriter said, everybody ought to know who Jesus is. He's the lily of the valley. He's the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of 10,000. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Number three, we were created to be successful, to be victorious. He said, when you pass through the waters, I'm going to be with you. Through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When you walk through the fire, good God Almighty, Thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon you. Mm. Can I get a witness? Shadrach, Meshach, Bandigo, Nebuchadnezzar said, look, I, I put three in there, but it looked like four in there, the son of God. Sometimes we got to get in the fiery furnaces of life. But I guarantee you, Jesus is going to be there with you. And it said those three Hebrew boys, they came out and didn't even smell like smoke. That's the kind of God we serve. That's the kind of God I serve. Somebody ought to praise him this morning. When you walk through the waters, when you go through the fire, he's going to bring you out. Come on, somebody. I want you to know this morning, with God on your side, you can't be defeated and nothing can destroy you. If God be for you, who can be against you? If God is on your side, he's more than the world against you. We have to realize and understand that God has a plan. And that plan is to succeed. Jeremiah said, I know the plans. He said, I know the plans. I have for you plans for your welfare, not for a disaster, to give you a future and a hope. My hope is built on nothing less 
than Jesus Christ and his righteousness. I dare not touch the sweetest frame, holy lean on Jesus' name, on Christ, on Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. He's a sure foundation. If you build your, build your life on the rock, you'll be all right. Hallelujah. How many know that he'll make a way where there'd be no way? Oh, yes, he will. He'll make a way where there is no way. Hallelujah. Isaiah tells them that he's going, God will provide rivers in the desert. He's going to provide rivers in the desert. Hallelujah to God. In the midst of barren dryness, God says he's going to give artesian wells a provision. He promised to do greater things for them that he did back in the times of old. Behold, I'm going to do a new thing. Hallelujah to God. Just take time to think about what God has already brought you from. And some of you ought to be up shouting when you look back and see how God brought you out of that muck in the mire. How he pulled you up off the street corners of... How you picked you up from the muck in the mire. Put a new song in your mouth even praise unto our God. You ain't been saved all your life. You know where God brought you from. Somebody ought to stand up and give God a praise because he brought you up and he brought you out. Pastor Barry said he was going down for the last time, but he picked you up, turned you around, put running in your feet, put clapping in your hands. Now we sit there and act like he ain't done nothing for us. This is a brand new year. 2024. Hallelujah. Let him put a new song in your mouth. Even praise unto our God. You don't know the songwriter said like I know. What the Lord has done for me. I know what he's done for me. Glory to God. And the enemy can't take my testimony. But I want him to go up a little bit higher. In 2024. You haven't seen nothing yet. Hallelujah. He's going to do a new thing. Something significant. Something fresh. Good news for the new year. Who knows? You may be saving Rehoboth for such a time as this. In these troubling times, we need to be better witnesses. Praise the Lord for our God. Uh, we need to give more of our time and our resources. We need to love one another like God wants us to love. Praise the Lord. We need to embrace one another. Hallelujah. Have a, have an encouraging word for your brothers and your sisters. And we have an opportunity, 2024, Tiffany, to raise the praise. To raise the praise. God has been good to us. And his grace and his mercy has seen us through another year goodness and mercy has been following us all 2023 in fact all of our lives praise the Lord the, rock, the songwriter said your grace and mercy has brought me through I'm living this moment because of you and I want to thank you and praise you too because your grace and mercy has brought me through. Praise the Lord. Some of us, we need to take a clue from 
this eagle-eyed prophet Isaiah in chapter 6. Speaking of that transforming moment, praise the Lord. One of the reasons why we face so much discouragement and wrestle with so many things in our lives is that we take our eyes off of God. We start looking at our circumstances and our situation, and when you do that, it can get depressing. Yes. Praise the Lord. But if you focus on God and let him just filter out all that stuff that the enemy try to persuade and fill you with, let him filter out that unbelief. Let him filter out that bitterness. Let him filter out this, that, and keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Hallelujah. All Isaiah sees is the glory of God when he focuses out everything else. That's what we have to do today. Hallelujah. Everything else becomes obscure when you got your eyes on Jesus. When you got your eyes on the cross. When you let the blood cleanse and heal you. Deliver you. Spoke about our theme, raising the praise. Hallelujah. We got to understand that our praise is one of the main weapons that God has given us to use against the enemy. When we come in and just sit down, that's what Satan likes. He can't stand to see God's people praise. Hallelujah. Praise and the devil are incompatible. What am I saying? Praise and the devil cannot exist together in the same place. Why? Because God inhabits the praises of his people. And when his people are praising God, when you're up praising God, the devil got to go. I remember we was in a prison and it was so, so dead. And we start praising God. Everybody got up and start praising God. And all of a sudden on the back door, it said, boom, something just like sounded like a gun hit the back door. And they said, what was that? I said, that was the devil leaving out. He can't stand your praise. Somebody ought to praise him this morning. Somebody ought to get up and give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Yes, Lord, we bless you. We thank you. Hi, my son. Glory. We may not have this opportunity again. Take advantage of it while you can. You don't know when it should be your last time. We praise God because our praises blesses God. One of our main purposes as created beings is to praise, to bless and have fellowship with our God. Peter 2 and 9, 1 Peter 2 and 9 said, you are chosen generation. You are royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, and ye shall show forth the praises. Show forth the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah to his name. The element of praise, it sets us apart from the rest of the world. Praise the Lord. This past year might have been difficult for many of us. Sicknesses. Hallelujah. But in spite of, how many got a praise in spite of? In spite of my situation, I still got my praise. In spite of my circumstances, I still got my praise. In spite of my bank account, I still got my praise. In spite of the doctor's report, I still got my praise. 
Good God Almighty. We all know that in this life some rain going to fall. Solomon said to everything there is a season. There is a time to weep and a time to laugh. Time to mourn and a time to dance. Weeping may endure for a night, but I want you to know there's joy. Joy is coming in the morning. And when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me I can dance I can dance I can dance 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 all night Woo. I said when I think of the goodness and all he's done for me I can dance 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 all night hallelujah this year it's a new year I don't know about you, but I'm going to raise my praise. Hallelujah, because when praises go up, when praises go up, blessings come down. Hallelujah, I'm going to praise him for a new year. I'm going to praise him for a new song. I'm going to praise him for a new shout. I'm going to praise him for a new dance. Hallelujah. Praise him for a new season. Praise him for saving our soul. Praise him for healing our bodies. Hallelujah. Praise him for renewing my mind. Ah, sometimes we can be all messed up in the mind. But Lord, help us renew our minds. Hallelujah to your name. Glory to God in the highest. Bible said, let everything are you breathing out there? To, are you breathing out there? He said, let everything, let everything that have breath, praise the Lord. Sister Black, praise him in the morning. Woo, do you got a morning praise? Praise him in the new day, Sister Lily. Praise him when the sun go down. David said, I'm going to bless him at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. And the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. He's worthy to be praised, saints of God. Nobody like Jesus. No, not one. It's a good thing, Sister Katrina, to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing thy praise, O Most High, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night because thy Lord has made us glad and we're going to triumph in the works of our hands. How many got a new praise? I want you to just stand up today. Give Lord, give the Lord a new praise this morning. Give the Lord a new shout this morning. Hallelujah. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him right now. I come to raise my praise this morning. I come to give Him glory. I come to give him praise. I come to give him thanksgiving because he's worthy, worthy to be praised. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Truly the Lord has been good to us. Yes. 2023, God has been good to us. He's been faithful, more faithful to us than we've been to ourselves. Because he cannot deny himself. He's so merciful, so kind, and so loving. And I think it grieves the Lord's spirit when we can't find it in our hearts to give him praise. Hallelujah. I just think about yesterday. And, and our elder was talking about you never miss something until you don't have it. Amen. 
Even the little things that you do health-wise, you know, when you're not feeling good, hallelujah. You don't think about that when you're feeling well. But when you're not feeling good, say, Lord, I wish I felt better. But now I feel better, so I want to praise it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe somebody this morning that need a special touch from the Lord. And I'm here to touch and agree with you. Because I know my God is, a day, is able to do exceeding abundantly above those things we ask and think. I know God can do anything but fail. If you got sickness in your body, I want you to come down. If you want to be baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost, I want you to come down. Hallelujah. If you want another change in your life, I want you to come down. Or we can touch and agree and believe God together. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody standing to your feet. Everybody standing to your feet. Let's stand and honor God. If somebody else desires prayer, sickness in your body, whatever you need the Lord to do, we believe that He's a healer and He's a deliverer. Nothing's too hard for God, nothing's impossible for Him. On this morning, all you have to do is surrender. I surrender. I surrender Somebody else wants you to come. Oh, I oh, through thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. Won't you join us this morning? Lift your voice and say, I surrender all. Now slip those hands in the air as you surrender to the Lord. I surrender all. It's all to thee, my blessed Savior. surrender all. Last time, like one big choir, I surrender all. Everybody. Everybody singing, I surrender. All through thee. God 
bless you. Before we turn it over, our first Saturday, first Saturday in February, we want to meet everybody in the sanctuary at 10 o'clock a.m. We missed our prayer in the month of January to close our consecration, but we want to hold that prayer the first Saturday, this Saturday, at 10 a.m. right here in the sanctuary. We're ending our consecration on tomorrow, and we thank God for those that join in with us. And we're going to continue to pray for Brother Alvis Moore. We want to pray for Tish Solomon and all the fat foes that need our prayers in Facebook land, wherever you are. We're praying with you. We're praying for you. And we want you once again to join us at 10 o'clock a.m. next Saturday morning right here in the sanctuary. And God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God has a plan. God has a plan for me. God has a plan for you. We thank God so much for the word of God today, Elder Roebuck. We bless you. Uh, here are the announcements for today, January 28th. Our Raise the Praise consecration continues until January 30th. Um, we want to re kind of remind everyone, no meats, no sweets. And please continue to follow your doctor's orders. You may pick one day out of the week to rise at 6 a.m. Just be faithful to that day. The Cool JC national reports are coming due. All the leaders are have your re national reports and your credentials money collected and submitted to the finance office by February 29th. Um, so if you can get it in before that date so the office won't be rushed to get everything done. So you have up until that date to, um, to submit everything. Bishop Berry's cel birthday celebration will be February 11th, 2024. Praise God for that. We want to thank God for our bishop. So we will have a box on the or on the piano that you can share your love gifts with him. Also on that day in the evening, they will have the Super Bowl 58 party downstairs and everyone is welcome to come and celebrate. Uh, if you have any questions, please see Deacon John Head. And as uh, we mentioned, uh, Saturday prayer times, uh, we want to just make sure that everyone knows now that we will have a 9 o'clock a.m. prayer in the house with Elder, um, with Elder James Parks. So we will have in-house prayer at 9 o'clock on Saturdays with Elder James Park, but we will still have our uh, Hope Line open at 10 a.m. That's with me and our wonderful prayer team uh, at 10 o'clock on Saturdays, every Saturday. Uh, we also want to uh, just mention that uh, we're still praying for uh, Brother Alvis Moore, and I got some news that Bishop um, Eugene Lundy passed away. Um, I don't have any more information on that right now, so please keep his family in prayer also. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do our offering at this time. Praise God. Has everybody been served? Get excited about offering. <laughs> Get excited about offering. God blesses us. Yes, it's a blessing to be able to give. So we thank God so much for that. If you have your offerings ready, please stand. Please stand. God is a provider. We thank him for that. God is good. All right. Father God, we thank you so much for allowing us to be able to give today. We thank you for supplying our every needs. We just give your name the praise and the glory for who you are and just making a way out of no way. We pray for those that have offering to give today and those that don't have, we pray that you would bless them with seeds so that they will be able to give at the next appointed time. So we just thank you, Lord, for being who you are and just making a way.